This is a review of an older Hornby model. Um, it's a Class 86. Um, it's not limited edition, but it's called... Um, it's number 86414, and it's actually called Frank Hornby. Um, unfortunately, the box is a bit battered and it's missing the plastic window. Um, but it's R388, and it's a British Rail Bobo electric locomotive called Frank Hornby after the um, manufacturer of these models. Um, this model um, I've actually managed to get hold of, found it um, randomly tucked away, the Frank Hornby order form because this model was actually available um, only by mail order I believe um, but it was British Rail honoured the founder of Hornby Railways by officially naming the Class 86 electric locomotive number 86414 Frank Hornby in November 1986 so to celebrate this um, Hornby Railways are producing a special model of the Frank Hornby which is only obtainable from Hornby Hobbies so you collect um, the l &S wheels which are these little symbols here um, which can be found on most Hornby Railways packaging send either two L's or ten S's tokens or one L and five S tokens together with a check or post order for £18 including post and packaging using the order form which is on the bottom of this page you can actually see on this model they actually give you four S's so you'd need ten of them to have acquired this model um, with the um, basically to get this model plus the £18 um, I think they actually made about two and a half thousand of these so there was obviously a fair demand for them I guess for the from the collectors because of the um, because of it being called Frank Hornby and such um, but you can see the offer closed in 28th of Feb 1989 so basically it's from the late um, 1980s this model and it is in the grey livery, intercity style, darker grey, light sort of beigey grey with the red and white stripes. Um, it's an electric locomotive. Um, it's got the standard three pole engine. Um, obviously, being a lot older now, this dates back over 20 years old. So it's not super detailed or anything like that, but it has got like dummy lights, um, silver buffers on the ends. Um, and then it's got the Frank Hornby logo on the side, Intercity or British Rail logo, and the number on the other end. It's got a pantograph which is operational, so it could be run on the overhead gantry, which was seems to be a lot more popular than which Hornby did the gantry system. Um, it's got the older pantograph, which is um, basically just pops up like so, stays up to get the power. You've got a switch there to switch between getting power from the wheels or getting the power from the overhead gantry system if you had it installed. Um, this pantograph is the one that's seen on the APT, the only difference being the actual base. The APT base is a lot smaller and just slots on the top of the motor. Whereas this, because the APT tilts, they've had to connect um, the pantograph directly onto the motor. Because obviously the motor doesn't tilt, that connects directly to the rails to keep the pantograph straight. It's quite a nice model, you've got the wipers moulded into the plastic, not sort of like separate wipers or anything like that, like you see on the newer models. It's got some nice detailing on the underside. So yeah, not a bad model, you've got the electric warning, electric shock warning symbols and everything like that on there. And then, say, so just makes it a little bit different having the Frank Hornby name, so it's a fairly sought after model. But yeah, especially with the order form, it's nice to have that as well. Yeah. Thanks for looking. Hope you like it.